Well, greetings. It's the weekend and this is your update and it's Mother's Day weekend. And this is the time, at least here in Colorado, you can finally get out in the yard and plant whatever it is that you're trying to plant. Uh, so if you've been patiently holding off until now, uh, your patience is being rewarded. Get out there, dig some holes and put some plants into them. Over on the Boomer YouTube channel, this week we did another of our shorts in the series from the uh, Shires event we did at CU. And this is one where uh, Matt Nasheed is kind of talking about the history of the Shires company and uh, how they went from being a trombone company to making, you know, frankly, some of the best trumpets that are out there. So check out that short if you haven't seen it yet. We started off as a trombone company in 95. Steve Shires was making modular trombones. Through that process, a lot of trombone players started finding, oh, I really love this Shire sound. Doc Simonson caught me up with that and approached Steve and said, hey, you know, I hear you make a great trombone. What do you think about making a trumpet? And you don't say no to Doc. And that's kind of what put us on this path to our journey to try to create new trumpets. And if it wasn't for the partnership with East Music Company, we wouldn't be here where we are today making the quality that we're doing and also able to experiment. The freedom that the East Music Company gives us to do allows us to really experiment with that soundscape and kind of dial in what we think the Shire sound is, but also what is the easiest sound to make to help the musician express themselves. Then over on the Drums West YouTube channel, we did kind of a, a video rewind this time, uh, revisiting one from a while ago. And this is one where Peter was exploring a raw crash cymbal and a flat ride cymbal. Really cool sounds, very, very different. And uh, we did this one a couple of years ago, but uh, check out that video because uh, these are some really, really neat cymbals uh, to add into your arsenal. around um yeah they're both very cool symbols um like i said every drummer should have something a little unique in their arsenal to give you a little bit different taste a little bit different flavor and these two are very cool symbols to check out and then over on the boomer youtube channel this week on the view from the road uh i was talking about um uh, another aspect to sound uh, beyond uh, rhythm and pitch that I hadn't really considered before, but I, I witnessed this at a, a rehearsal this week. Check out the clip from the video, you'll see what I'm talking about. I've always said that to me rhythm is number one and pitch is number two. Well, I think I found one to squeeze in between those two, and that is dynamics. And I was uh, getting to hear the kids playing, and uh, the way that this piece is supposed to be, it's supposed to be lots of, uh, you know, forte piano, you know, growing like that kind of stuff, which creates really great musical interest. Well, they were playing it really heavy-handed, really flat. And it occurred to me that even if the, the rhythm is right, and even if the pitch is right, if you get the dynamics wrong, which really contributes to taste, um, then it's not going to sound right. And then over on the Podcasting Store Medium page, this week I did another musical mystery, and I've been kind of marinating this one for a while, and I finally figured out how I wanted to present it. And uh, it was talking about a, uh, a death of, uh, of, of someone, in this case a musician, and the ensuing cover-up. And the cover-up created uh, kind of a uh, misremembrance of this person's work, which was really unfortunate because uh, this was one heck of a musician. And uh, so just kind of writing the wrong uh, that was done years ago, and I can't say too much more than that because I'll ruin the mystery, but uh, check it out if you haven't read yet. QR code's right over there. Uh, as always, I think this one came out pretty good. So that is your weekend update. As always, thank you so much for watching. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Like, share, and subscribe. We'll catch up with you next time. If you enjoyed the weekend update, do me a favor and follow us on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channels, or visit our websites. This is Drew with Boomer Music Company and thepodcastingstore.com. Thanks for listening.